trying to add a little movement to uh, my uh, decoys and uh, this is uh, what I've uh, come up with. Uh, it might not be the best answer but it's just what I've uh, come up with. Uh, it's simple and cheap. Uh, here you can see it's attached to a piece of 4mm uh, steel plate. I think it's about 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Anyway, let's have a look. You can see there, it's just a piece of uh, uh, steel bent. The steel's come off um, packing that you get on uh, on pallets around warehouses, and just drilled and bent into shape. This decoy is a crow decoy, um, and I've just drilled uh, the base and uh, bolted a piece of 4mm uh, threaded bar, a couple of nuts, a couple of washers just to give me uh, an attachment for the spring to attach. The spring itself is there, it's just attached to, like I said, 4mm steel plate bent uh, with a hole drilled in the top so you can attach the uh, crow decoy. Any uh, breeze um, will get this uh, crow uh, pecking or rocking and it can be attached to uh, the top of a fence post or any wooden log. Um, I haven't tried to stake it to the ground, I think it might come loose but you may be able to. Uh, most of my shooting is done around the farmyard, so I'll probably keep it to attached to the uh, steel. I think this is uh, going to be for the uh, future, or maybe the next video. I'm not sure. So I've been working on uh, a decoy on the top of a, a servo, which will turn at random intervals and at random degrees but uh, it's not quite finished yet uh, if there's anybody else out there done the similar uh, let me know and uh, let's see how we got on